G'day guys, welcome back. Look, look what I've got. Oh, I'm so excited to be bringing this to you today. My very first time using my new mold. Now this is my Morocco tray mold. Look at it. It's a big mold. Inside measurements. Uh, almost 30 centimeters. So almost 12 inches that way. And then 11 inches this way, 28 centimeters. And it's one centimeter deep, so just under half an inch deep. So, yay! Um, I, I put a little bit of gold in there just to see. But before we go any further, I want to show you the other part with this. Are you ready? Uh, are you excited? Are you as excited as I am? <gasps> Look! I know. I've got the coaster mold as well. So we've got one, two, three, four coaster molds with the same Morocco. I haven't decided if I'm going to call it Morocco or Moroccan yet, but same sort of repeating lantern style. It's similar to my arabesque. You may have seen my arabesque um, coaster mold. So we've got one, two, three, four coasters, a key ring with a little nib in it, and then one, two, three, four little cutie pies. So, yay, make the cute little pendants they would. Anyway, today we're going to do this one. So, as you can see, I've started with the gold. I just wanted to see what it would look like. I was too excited to wait for you. Um, I'm going to dust it with this gold here, Art Tree Creations. It's the rich gold. So, what I'm going to do, like, I'll do a little bit and then I'll put you on fast forward because it's probably going to take me a little while. Um, so, basically, I'm just going to get my gold with my little pencil. Not my pencil. <laughs> my little paintbrush. So exciting. I can't even talk. I can't even. So I'm just using a little one, a little paintbrush <laughs> that'll fit into these little grooves here. So basically just going to go in, do all of those. You don't necessarily have to do up the sides if you don't want to. I just want to get the, the base done. Um, if, if by chance you get any of the gold dust over the top, you can just easily wipe that off with a, a baby wipe or you could just get some tape like that because it's not going to be disrupting the mica that you've got down there okay so this bottom layer where I'm dusting is five five millimeters lower than this one and then this one is five millimeters lower than the edge so you've got like um, two sort of levels there so what I'm going to do is once I finish doing this all the gold um, I guess you could if you wanted to use one of these I'm not sure if this will be any easier it's a little bit wider that's all so yeah see I'm getting it on the side there so no I won't do that I'll just use this one um, so anyway after I've done that and I've done the whole thing with gold all I'm going to do is mix up I'm probably going to I haven't decided if I want to go with the teal or maybe put a little bit of blue in with it but mainly like a teal against the gold. And all I'm going to do then is just flood this with the one colour and it's done. You don't have to worry about doing two different colours. You could if you wanted to. If you don't want to dust it first, you could pour in like a gold resin just to the level of, you know, the tops of these, which you could do as well. And I will do that next time. But for today, I'm just going to dust. So, yeah, pretty simple to do. Um, and it would make an amazing tray, wall plaque. You know, if you've got this sort of Moroccan style decor in your home, it would be perfect addition. Even if you just want to display it on a plate stand, nice big plate stand in your living area, in your kitchen. Um, but yeah, otherwise you can use it as a tray. Trinket dish. I think I'll go with my big brush when I do the, the edges. I'll get it back. I'll go with the big one when I do those edges in there. All right, so I'm going to put you on fast forward now. Um, and I'll finish these. And uh, I'll come back to you once I've mixed up my, my resin. I have no idea how much resin it's going to take. So I'm just going to have to wing it. But yeah, I'll come back to you shortly.
all done and it looks amazing I just cleaned the top off with my baby wipe as you saw so um, yep yeah, now I'm ready to pour so there's my blue and my teal and my resin I am using the platinum ultra clear resin let's put you back up on the stand um, only because it's really really thin resin so um, you know so it goes into all those little nooks and crannies easily all right let's get started so basically there's this one this one's called Thornton Shimmer and it's by Color Passion so we'll put some of that in have a nice big scoop like so So I mixed up three, about 360 grams, just under. I got um, 250 grams of A and 107 grams of B. Ended up going over a little bit on each, just by accident though. So about 360 grams. Look at that. And because it's a shimmer, it's got this gorgeous pearlescent look to it, which I think will be amazing on this mold. Look at that. That is just to die for. I think I'm going to add just a ditzy little bit of blue. And it's still looking a little bit transparent, so I may have to add a little bit more paste. I because it's such a big cup. Now I'm just going to wipe this stick so that I can double dip. But you don't want to put resin into your paste. Let's have a little bit of the blue. Uh, actually, uh, no. I'm gonna put that on the. Oh no, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to stir it in, and then I can add another scoop of the um, the teal one. This one's called Michelle. Michelle. Not sure. I always thought Michelle had a double L E, but I guess not everybody has. <laughs> All right, I'll mix that up. How's that looking? I might just add a little bit more of the green. I'm just going to clean off my stick again. And I can dip it in there. There we go. That should do. That'll do. All right. Let me mix this up and get cleaned up. Okay. Here we go. I just gave it another little stir for a another 30 seconds or so and uh, it is looking divine divine oh this is so exciting I've been looking forward to this for so long it's a long time in the making I've been planning this mold for months and uh, it's my prototype so first time pouring in it I'm not sure whether or not it'll be available for everyone by the time I get this video out but hopefully it will be now I'm just going to pour that into the center and uh, hopefully this will look amazing against that gold. Just let it flow. I'm just going to pour it in the middle and let it flow into all the little areas it wants to pour into. And hopefully that way, you know, we'll have less air bubbles because the resin's pushing itself along rather than us pouring here and there and there and everywhere. Go bubble. Go bubble. Go away. Yeah, gotcha. Look at that. <laughs> Oh gosh. Now hopefully it's enough resin, otherwise I'll just have to mix up a bit more, hey. Yeah, not sure how long how much it's gonna take. I know no, you can put water in it and but then you've got to dry it. And you know, and you get little bits of water everywhere and it may leave a watermark and yeah, I'm just just don't wanna do it. <laughs> I'd rather just do it this way. And if I need some more then I'll mix some more. So this has gone into the edges there. Just love the way it just cascades over into all those little little lines. I think I might have enough. And it's up to you if you want to, you know, totally fill the mold. Because as I said, it's five mil to the first layer, then another five mil. 
you may decide you don't want to fill it all the way because it is a pretty deep mold I'll see how this goes I may like add another couple of ounces we'll see we'll see but the problem with that is I'm never going to get it the same color scoop all that out isn't it just a divine color hey and look at the gold that's coming up on the top there so you can just imagine what the other side's going to look like you guys oh wow oh my gosh i get so excited when i have a new mold so excited right now um because this is the back of the mold i'm okay with spraying it with some alcohol isopropyl alcohol this one's 100 percent but you know anything i think above about 95 is good um, now do i want to put a bit more in look i don't think it needs it I, you know it's only it's very very close to the top i mean i could mix up another couple of ounces and then dome it but i think it'll be fine but for our first test just gonna spray it okay now i wouldn't do that if that was going to be the top because i find that you do get this watermark and blotching and things like that from the alcohol but the back you know we're not going to see the back um if you want to at some stage i will even do this at some stage um, i'll take it out when it's still a bit soft and turn it into an amazing bowl won't that be amazing while i was standing there stirring i was thinking of other colors um what about silver and burgundy oh yes i might do that in the small one in the coasters what do you think um copper and emerald green so many colors um, you could do the chameleon powders, you know, with a black background. Oh, there's so many things I want to do with it. So very exciting. And you can see that the resin is already pulling from the outside in, which is what resin does. So this kind of blob in the middle should all just disappear. So basically that's it. Now this resin, because I've poured it quite deep, I can probably unmold it in about eight hours or so. But it's pretty cold in my studio. <laughs> it's only it's only twenty degrees. It's still it's winter. It's still chilly. So um, yeah, things are taking a bit longer to cure. But anyway, that's it. Fingers crossed that it looks amazing when I unmold it later on today. And there's just a little tiny little thing there. I'll get it later. All right. See you later. Um, I'll unmold it when it's done. I'll see you soon. Wish me luck. I'm so excited about this one, you guys. Okay, it's the next day. It was very difficult waiting for it overnight. I was kept on coming and pushing the sides last night to see if it was ready, but it wasn't. Way too cold in the studio to be setting that quickly. All right. Shall we have a look? Now, through the screen there, when I'm looking through the screen, it does look more blue than it really is, but it's not look and as you can see um well you might have seen from the video i just dusted the edges of the the tray as well with the gold so just release all those little look look comes out nice and clean hey release all of those little shapes there love that noise it makes Do all the way around the outside and then we're good to go <gasps> it's out it's out look at that it's quite a big heavy mold actually that one all right this is what i've been waiting for for months and months and months are we ready oh my gosh let's do this let's do the countdown one two three oh wow <gasps> that is amazing look at it love it it's turned out so nicely wow i did pretty good with my dusting look at that let's have a look from the side there you go you can look look down into these see these are lower now, if you wanted to, you could fill those. You could do a top coat and fill those by all means. But I really like the texture of that. That is amazing. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Now, you probably can't see the, the greenish colour in there. 
that teal colour. Love it, love it, love it. Wow. So happy with it. Oh, I will take a photo of it outside for you. It's a bit early now. <laughs> It's only 7 a.m. I haven't even had my coffee. I came straight out. I was way too excited. I haven't even had my coffee. All right. Oh, so happy with it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. You could put a little um, hook on there, you know, those sticky hooks, and you could hang it somewhere. You could just display it on a plate stand. You could actually use it as a trivet. Um, yeah. Amazing. Pop it on your dining table. Put something on it. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, so excited. Now, moving on, I'll have to move on to the coaster one, hey? So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of it. And um, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. Okay, take care, guys. Love you all. So let me know what you think of it. Love to hear your comments down below. And do we call it Morocco or Moroccan? So, um, yep, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. So, love you all. Take care. Bye for now.